Hello and welcome to another indie horror game. This time we're going to be playing a spooky ice fishing game. And in this, well, let's just see. The once was a star that fell from the sky. It fell into the cold, dark forest deep. <clears throat> she wandered all around, but couldn't find her way. Her way back home. And then, upon a lake, she came. Why do you look so sad? asked a fish, poking its head poking its head out of a hole in the th in the thick ice. Oh, I'm so hopelessly cold and my light's fading. If I don't get back home soon, I'll surely die. Well, that's not very good. I'll keep you warm and safe until it's warm again, the fish said holding its pink mouth open and in return I'll bless you and your children said the little star and slid into the belly of the fish okay interesting so wasted to look around after to the flash it on off for a space to fish I to open the inventory okay so yeah, the whole gist of it is we're basically trying to get... Yeah, we're trying to like... Find... One of these fish. Yeah, there's there's something out here in the woods though. There's something... Oh, hello. Okay. Sadly, not quite what we're looking for. So, yeah, the only thing I don't know is, like, why would I turn the flashlight on or off? You know what I'm kind of getting? I'm getting vibes that this is going to be, like, a Five Nights at Freddy's type of deal. Okay. Okay. Interesting. So far, so basic. I keep expecting a jump scare. Yeah, and I, I, it's actually, it's it's kind of interesting how little it is, but the fact that I have to turn all the way, yeah, that actually does add a lot to the game here. Okay, what? What's going on? Hold on. Hello, what are you? You're a message in a bottle. Alright, so if I do see something, am I going to need to turn the light off? Hmm. Hang on. Did I just hear something? I thought I just did. Oh, I don't like this. Here. Come on, keep on, keep on going, keep on going. Hang on, did I? Okay, I did put it down, good. Oh god, hello. I... <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Alright, so I think, uh... I, I think if I see that, I need to turn off the light. Got it. Interesting. Alright. Yeah, that's, uh... A, a kind of funny little... Little death sequence. Okay. All right, so there's the first one. See, so yeah, I'll just I'll need to make sure I turn off the light. Although that makes me wonder then, what uh Yeah, what Is there going to be something I need to keep the light on for? So like the tall lanky looking Hold on. Okay. Yep, let's do this. Oh boy. Hold on. Yeah, let's drop this back down. <clears throat> this is really actually quite unnerving. I'm very surprised at how well it's doing its job. Yeah, it's... A broken knife. Interesting. Okay. Okay, so I, I actually can, like... 
yeah, I can turn off the light mid-swing. Which is actually quite interesting. Okay. Oh god. Okay, okay, this is... So I need to, like, look away and turn off the light, I guess, from whatever this is. Which is really curious, like, is this something that it doesn't like being seen? Okay. Oh, this is... oh, man. It's such a simple idea for a game, but it's... Actually, yeah, very, very creepy. All right. Mom looks different. I started, oh, oh God, hello, ah, fudge. Dang it, okay. Okay, so there's actually two different creatures. I bet there's one that I have to be, yeah, one I have to be looking away from and the other one I have to do, yeah, the other one I have to turn the light off. So if I see red, turn the light, keep the light on. If I see blue, or if I actually if I don't see red, keep the light off. Yeah, it, it's such a simple game, like, it's such a simple core gameplay loop, but it's really effective. Okay. Oh god. Okay, nope, not, not doing that. We're just gonna, yeah, we're just gonna leave you alone there, buddy. So I wonder then, do I need to, do I need to keep looking at, yeah, do I need to keep looking at the red ones, or do I just need to keep the light on? Okay, we're gonna stay away from him. Yeah, I wonder what's the delimiting factor here. Is it just the lights? The heck? I think there was just like a little bit of a flicker. Yeah, there was like a little bit of a flickering thing. Oh god. Okay. Okay, stay calm, Boundless. Alright, I think... Is this next one gonna be... Is this next one gonna be the red one? The heck? Is that a finger? Okay. Okay, nope. Oh god. Yeah, this is like... Fudge. Don't, yeah, don't look at him for more than like a half a second or so. Fucking A. God, what is he doing there? Okay. Ah, uh, he's... Still there. Oh, come on, really? Alright, what? Hmm, okay. Strange. Yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, it, it's a really interesting loop. I'm kind of just curious how long this is going to take. Because, yeah, that kind of sucked because it, like, uh, it looked like they were both next to each other. You know, if the light triggers the one guy, but the light drives back the other one, there's kind of only so much I can do, right? I I'm wondering if that's a bug. Yeah, I saw um, one of the people that had left a comment, they said that they had experienced a bug with this. Oh, fudge. God damn it. All right. Okay, you know what I'll do? I'll do like, I'll do two more tries on here. Um, cause it is interesting, but I think there is a little bit of a random element to this. But yeah, this is actually kind of cool. Uh, I kind of wish that like there was maybe a little bit more. Okay, so there's that. Let's drop that back down. Oh, fudge. Okay. Leave him alone. Yeah, don't mess with him. Alright. There we go. Let's drop you back down. Yeah, sorry if this is, like, kind of annoying for you guys. It's, a. Uh, I pretty much have to keep on going. Yeah, this actually would be a kind of interesting little game, though. Just have, like, a... I mean, basically, like, a sort of ice fishing game where you're, like... Yeah, we are basically just stuck trying to do this type of thing. You know, you're trying to, like, go through and find some... 
hidden object out there. Okay, so you're good. You know, I wonder if there is, like... I, I hope we're doing catch and release for the fish. Because otherwise, I think we're single-handedly depleting this entire lake. Okay, okay, calm down, go away. Okay, okay, good. So that dude... Okay, so the red guy is just the light. Yeah, so I think I just kind of got screwed over that one time. You know what's probably going to happen, too? It's probably going to turn out that, like, I just need to survive five attacks or something, and then we get the ending. Where are you? Fudge. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I probably... Actually, it seems like as long as I keep the light on, I'm okay. It also seems like that guy tends to spawn in a little bit late. Yeah, and know what I think I'll do, too? If I die again, I'll probably just cut until I get to the ending. Hold on. Okay, there's another one. Yeah, I'll probably just cut until I get to the ending if I die again, just to save you guys from having to deal with this, like, basically whiplash vision. Oh, fudge. Okay. Oh. Did I get it? Little star, little star, inside dwelling, I ask you, give me your blessing. Huh. Okay. Okay, well, there we go. I guess that was the game by Team Fish. I guess I... Hmm. I don't know what Pelafarmy 2020 is. Actually, let me go look that up quick. What is Pelafarmy? That... I, I don't know anything about... Yeah, I don't know anything about uh, Finnish at all, so... Pelafarmy... 2022. Yeah, that was an interesting little game, though. That was, uh... Yeah, that was actually quite creepy. It was quite unnerving. Yeah, all I can find is there's like a Twitch and a Discord page. I, I assume it's something about game dev, but... No, that was just, uh... Yeah, that was very, very effective at what it set out to do. It was unnerving as heck. It kept me on my toes. Yeah, I, I actually kind of would like to see a, a game that expands a little bit on that idea of, like, being stuck in the forest or something and trying to... You know, you're trying to search for something, but then you have this whole light mechanic where you're trying to escape. Yep. Yeah. Uh, may maybe it's a hair unforgiving or something, but, you know, I, I assume that given that this game was made by five people, can't really have any issues with it. So, yeah. Good job, developers. I actually think you guys did a great job here. Yeah. I'd, uh, I'm, I'm really happy to see this, and I'll actually keep an eye out. I hope that these guys go ahead and make some more games together. I'm assuming Pelafarmy is something like a Game Jam or something like that, but... Yeah, nice work. This was a lot of fun. So if you guys enjoyed the video, if you wouldn't mind, please leave a like or leave a comment. How did you feel about this spooky ice fishing game? You know, it's pretty basic, pretty simple, but what would you want to see expanded in it if this was going to be a full game? Maybe they were going to aim for like 45 minutes worth of gameplay. What do you think would be added in there? I mean, aside from maybe more creatures and like more dynamics with the lights and stuff. I think there could be something really interesting with that, but yeah, I'd be curious what you guys would want to see. And if you're new to the channel, if you enjoyed the video, if you wouldn't mind subscribing, I would really, really appreciate that. And for everybody else, thank you very much for watching the spooky ice fishing game. I hope you enjoyed, and I look forward to seeing you in another video very soon.